Okay, so this duck walks into a bar and sees a group of people over off to the side and th starts thinking, um, maybe I'll go over there and see what's going on. Oh, sorry, wait a minute, I'm in HR now, I can't tell jokes like that, so I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> so, on to evaluations. Um, so, we've got a few reminders coming up here. And the first one that's up there, the February 1st notice to uh, teachers who could possibly be receiving any, a less than effective evaluation. This is something we started last year that we're going to continue this year. And in the Deputy Weekly yesterday that came out, there is some sample language to be used. So you don't have to think of how am I going to word this to my teacher if I have one in this situation? What am I going to say? I don't want to say the wrong things. I want to make sure the right message gets across. There are a few sentences that you can just copy and paste into an email, copy and paste into my PGS to make sure that um, you have the right message that's coming across to any teacher that could possibly find themselves in that situation. So um, if you have a teacher that you've been observing that you know is struggling in some areas that have been given that notice of um, less than effective components through your observations, make sure you look in the Deputy Weekly. It's going to run for a few weeks. Just like I said, copy and paste that language into those messages so they are um, given that notice. Now remember, this is a possible less than effective. It doesn't mean that they're guaranteed to get that less than effective in April. We just have to make sure that we are giving them that fair notice that they have the opportunity to improve and that you're going to be working with them to, to make those improvements so hopefully they don't find themselves in that situation in April. Um, the February 8th, this is something that we're going to be doing that's new this year. It's not an extra step that you're going to have to be doing. This is kind of an FYI that we're going to be doing from Human Resources. This is kind of in response to an NRS statute that's been out there on the books for a while. It's, if you want to read it up and have fun reading NRS language, it's 391-730. And this is the law that talks about should a post-probationary teacher receive two consecutive less than effective evaluations, then their status reverts back to probationary status. So what's going to happen with this one if we have a post probationary teacher who could find themselves in this situation, there's going to be a letter that is generated from human resources that we are going to deliver to that teacher, giving them formal notice that it's a possibility that this could happen to them this year. So it's going to come from us. You're going to be, as the, as the principal, you're going to be CC'd and given a copy of that letter so you're aware of that situation as well. So this is just a heads up to you that this could be coming. We're going to have, a, uh, I already have a list of all of those teachers, that post-probationary teachers that were given a less than effective last year. We're going to be checking on February 1st if they're in that situation again where they could possibly be getting that less than effective again. So that small subset of that list of teachers from last year could be receiving this letter again that first week of February. So just a heads up on that is coming. Um, in, that, in that notice, they, they're going to be, have the, within that notice, that letter that they're going to be giving, it explains what NRS 391-730 is, what it means, why they're in that situation. And also within that notice, it's going to say that they're going to be afforded a right to a hearing on why it's happening and give them a chance to kind of explain their side of the situation. Now, what that hearing is going to look like, um, we're still working out the details and have some parameters around that hearing. So it's kind of a structured hearing on what that's going to be looking like. And we're still working out the details on that. So just like I said, an FYI for that one. And then the March 18th notice, that is still um, something that we started last year that we're going to continue this year. So if you have a teacher that you know is going to be less than effective, that is the deadline where all of those evaluation narratives need to be submitted for review and approval before you can give them to, um, the, te to the teacher at that April deadline. This is uh, right before spring break, so we have time to look over all of them. Last year, what we asked is that that evaluation is turned in to either your area superintendent or to me for review and approval. What we want to take a look at this year is turning them just into HR, or in, actually it would be to me, to, to help you go through all of those. The reason why we want to do that is to have just one central point to turn them into. Sometimes there was a 
a little bit of confusion last year on where they went and how they were turned in and some were missed and it was just kind of uh, a little bit confusing. So I want to reiterate what I told um, people last year when this happened. By no means is any of this to question the work that you are doing. We definitely want to help to make sure all of the processes and procedures were followed, that everything is lined up. So all of that work that you've been doing throughout the year is, is not kind of wasted because of some you know, timeline that was missed or you're missing a piece of um, narrative that needed to be there. We want to make sure that all of those pieces are there so um, it will stand up and it can go through and all of that work is there. And that's the whole reason why we want to help you review all of these to make sure it all goes through. Not that we're questioning any of the work that you're doing. So that is a really important piece on that March 18th deadline to get that in and we can have it turned around back to you to make sure that it is tight, as tight as it can be and supportive and defensible for the teachers. All right. The last thing is at lunch, you can see on your agenda, there are several of us here from HR that are going to be upstairs in room 253 upstairs. Um, it says on the evaluation for, on the agenda for evaluation assistance, but we're gonna be there for any HR questions you have in general, not just evaluations. So if you have anything HR, there's gonna be several of us, you can come up there and ask questions, and I might just tell you the end of the duck joke, too, if you want to come up and ask about that. So um, thank you very much. And